What's up guys, Eric from Veris Engineering and today we're gonna be doing a really simple install on our VB WRX. Now we don't need it because we still run the top mount intercooler, but if you're running a front mount intercooler, you don't wanna be shoving high pressure air into the engine bay. Basically by alleviating or blocking off that OEM hood scoop that you see behind me. Right there. We're gonna block that off and basically that reduces the amount of high pressure air making it into the engine bay. Ultimately, high pressure air means that it makes it a little bit harder for that air flow to go through the cooling stack at the front of the vehicle. So when you throw a charge cooler in the front, you have that radiator, you have the condenser, maybe an oil cooler, it has a little bit harder time making it through that cooling stack when there's higher pressure in the engine bay. So you wanna alleviate or reduce the pressure in the engine bay. And that's what this is gonna do because we're not throwing air through a top mount intercooler anymore. So let's block that off. Let's improve airflow through the entire cooling stack. Again, this is for guys running not top mount intercoolers. This is for guys running front mount intercoolers and uh, we're gonna do that quick a little install. We're gonna have to put ours car back to stock, but we developed this for all those front mountain air cooler guys. All right, so as far as what's included in the kit, we have our sheet aluminum hood scoop block off, and then we have our four M5 hardware pieces. Uh, it is M5 by 0 0.8, I believe it is 12 millimeter long, and then we have fender washers as well. As far as tools required for the VB hood scoop block off, we have an eight millimeter socket on a ratchet of some sort. You can pick which size, we're using quarter inch drive. We have a three millimeter Allen wrench and then we have a plastic, at least what I call a plastic rivet or a push pin remover tool. You can also use a flathead screwdriver. All right, so at this point, you will have this kind of picture as soon as you open up the hood. We're going to use an eight millimeter socket on a quarter inch drive ratchet and a panel popping tool. That being said, I literally, I think I broke like 95% of these plastic push pins. So if you guys can do this, this is, a, this is like a brand new car. It's like 4,000 miles, maybe 3,000 miles on this thing. I literally broke like every single one. If you guys can remove this without breaking them, comment because like, I wanna know how you did it. You can also use a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, but those are gonna be like, there's one, two, three, I believe there's four right there, there's two in here, and then, so there's about, that looks about like 10, there might be a few more, um, but once we get in there, uh, you'll obviously be able to see that. All right, so this is what it looks like when the duct is removed. We're gonna basically reuse these bolts, those, uh, the ones that have these shoulders. We're not gonna reuse the OEM hardware, but we're gonna reuse that, those locations. Um, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it nicely up in there, and then we're gonna use the hardware that we supply and bolt it on using a uh, three millimeter Allen wrench on this. Just like that, it is installed. We're gonna shut the hood real quick. All right guys, that concludes the install of the VB hood scoop lock off. Again, really simple install. You're gonna really wanna pair this with like a hood vent. So we have two hood vents right behind us. It'd be a really good idea to actually include those in the install because then you're actually evacuating air from the engine bay and you're actually hopefully creating a little bit of low pressure. Again, promoting that flow through the charge cooler the radiator and potentially oil cooler and, uh, and improving basically vehicle performance that way. Be sure to like and subscribe us on our various outlets, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, uh, and until next time.